is currently July 5th. You'll be watching this on July 6th. But July 5th is your birthday. My birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Thank you. And you wanted to go to? Pisces Rising. Pisces Rising here <clears throat> in downtown Mount Dora. We have a reservation for five o'clock and it's about 15 till five. So we're gonna walk over that way and look at the restaurant. A lot of people have recommended Pisces Rising and what better to celebrate than your birthday there. Let's go check it out. Now for a point of reference, Magical Meat Boutique is right across the street. Ooh, could be raining here shortly. It's sprinkling, so just brace yourself. Over here is Sunset Park, and then just past that, right over there, Pisces Rising. Now, I don't know exactly when they're closed. We called and got a reservation, but I think they said they reopen at five, and our reservation is for five o'clock. Uh, so they do close after lunch, but maybe their door will show the hours. You can see over in the lake there how rainy it is. It's starting to come down, so I'm glad we're almost here. 239 West. Here's a look at the menu. Established 2003. I'm sure they'll give us a menu inside that I can show you a little better than this one. Best of Mount Dora 2018 winner. And it does, whoo, oh. Wouldn't be good for outdoor seating today, but I was gonna see if it showed their hours. It does say, please, as a courtesy to our diners, turn off cell phones inside. No alcohol behind this point. All kind of taking shelter right here. It is pouring down rain. We'll go ahead and try to <laughs> try to go inside. Whew. Made it here just on time before we got super wet. Try to go in here. That yeah, door's open. Okay, good. This is what it looks like. There's the bar right there. Wow. Seating. I think they just opened back up, but there's the bar. Seating, seating seating it is pouring down rain i believe we walked to the wrong entry point there's a bar out there right here's where you put your name down it shows restrooms down there this is what it looks like in here look at that okay so i was definitely wrong you come into the other door i think the door we came into was just the like bar area we're gonna be seated right here also, there's some cigars over there. That's the door we came into, which took us to like the bar. Looks like that door over there is maybe where you're supposed to go. Whew, figured it out, I think. And then there's the kitchen over there. Restrooms just down those stairs. Let's have a look at the wine list here. Just kind of go through the menu like this. And then on the other side, the cocktails. Spirits and flight. Beer. Now she did ask if we're celebrating anything today and we said a birthday, so I'm not sure what that means. We'll find out here in a little bit, but here is rum party. Here are a look at the entrees. Some steaks, crab stuff, salmon, mushroom ravioli, some side options. Down here, sandwiches. Hear that thunder. Paradise burger. Dessert, creme brulee, that for sure has to happen. Oh, kind of did the menu back. Everything's done everything backwards in here. <laughs> Came in the wrong door and looked at the wrong side of the menu. Here we have the starters. We source locally first and foremost whenever possible. Soup is soup of the day. Salads. Signature cocktails. And then of course the side I just showed you. So again, we came in that way. 
which isn't wrong to do. It's just kind of like the bar area. But if you're over towards kind of the front where there's some outdoor seating there, and I did not see the hours, maybe the hours are on that door, but you'll come in that door, they'll take your name there and then see you. Looks like there's some spots up there as well, but we were here early enough to where not really a wait, and we had a reservation for five. For a starter, I think we'll try this rosemary focaccia. Is that how you say it? Sure. sure, focaccia bread made from scratch. Look at this table, I like the pineapples. Also, I think if it's raining, most people are gonna come through the bar door because another, true, yeah, depending on where you're parking, but instead of walking all the way around and getting wet, seems like people are coming through that first door. So we went with half sweet, half unsweet tea and they give you some water as well. The special, uh, they have surf and, surf and turf with a filet and oysters. Oh, scallops. The surf and turf does sound really good. Uh, I bet a steak is really good here, but for some reason they had a picture of this Paradise Burger online. Thousand Island sauce. It looked really good, especially with the house-made sesame bun. And sandwiches are choice of french fries or a side salad. French fries, we can test the crunchiness. All right, birthday girl, did you figure out what you want? Um, I think I'm gonna do the crab stuffed salmon. Nice. Let's play a little game. Comment below how old you think Timber is. Did we mention this before? Maybe. We have given clues and stuff before though too, but comment below. And I'm gonna do the Paradise Burger. I wanna try their burger and I wanna do a fry test. Here's that crab stuffed salmon. Did think about the mushroom ravioli though. That sounds good too, but they did have a picture of their burger and really what sold me was the, uh, the Thousand Island sauce. Here's a look at that bread. It smells very good. Got some dipping sauce right there. Dipping oil, I guess I should say. Let's give it a try. You're digging in, huh? I love this stuff. Well, I've never had it here, but <laughs> I just like bread and dipping oil. How is it? Worth three dollars? Oh, I'm gonna give it a try. Go ahead and Tip it here. Let's give the bread a try. That's good. That's very good bread. Very good oil. It's warm. It's warm. I like it. Now, when I ordered the burger, she also asked if I wanted cheese on it. So I'm guessing cheese is going to be extra. I got it cooked medium with the fries and American cheese. And then she said it comes with lettuce, tomato, pickle, and onion. So I just got all those toppings as well. And you changed your side. They came with asparagus, but there's like a cranberry almond green beans, so I changed them, getting the green beans. That sounds good. All right, here's a look at the fries. Should we go, let's go ahead and do it. Mm, that one wasn't crispy. They look good. They look good, I don't think they're, they're not super duper crispy. Let me try this one. Oh, that one wasn't, wasn't too bad. Here's a look at the burger. That looks tasty. And then here's a look at yours. Got some crab, oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> that looks good. Those green beans look good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's dig in. There's a look at the medium burger. You just tried the salmon. Some of the best salmon I've ever had. So that has I to- I haven't had the crab. So that's stinking good then? Yeah. No I doubt. I literally just had one. <laughs> Uh, the mashed potatoes look stinking good too. And then you gave me a little piece of salmon I get to try here. Definitely wanna try those mashed potatoes. Oh, that was a piece of the crab. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, we gotta, I gotta dig in. First thing I'm gonna try, salmon. She wasn't lying when she said, might be some of the best salmon she's ever had. That was very good. Let's try a fry. That is a great taste in fry. Even though it's not super duper crispy, a good fry. Um, little taste of mashed potatoes, maybe. Mashed potatoes. They're pretty good ta tasting mashed potatoes there. And then green beans. Green beans. Very good green beans. Try to show you this burger here. It's a little messy. That's a very juicy burger. That's good. It is a little messy though, but good burger. 
All right, we're gonna dig in on this stuff for now and then pick up when we're almost done and order the creme brulee. That was a big burger. All right, slowing down a little bit because we'll still have some dessert here soon. I think I've had, this is maybe my third tea, so that also will fill you up. So we did order the creme brulee and look at this, they brought a candle. You're one, <laughs> one year old. If you guessed one. <laughs> you are correct. Make a wish. Yay! You didn't give me. Oh, you didn't give me a chance to sing Happy Birthday. No, I'd rather listen to this song. Or should I do Happy Happy Birthday? That looks like some good creme brulee, though. Let's dig in. Oh, it's a good one. That is a good one. I packed your side for you. Thank you. Yep, excited for this. How's your birthday cake? Mm -hmm. Is it good? All right, I can't wait to try it. Here we go. That is top notch. Very good creme brulee. That was stinking good creme brulee. And if it wasn't inappropriate to lick this bowl, I would uh, lick it. Here is a look at the bill and they said they took care of the creme brulee since it was her birthday. That was so very nice of them. $63.13 for very good food, mm -hmm. top notch food stinking good food all right that was good timing we are finished and it stopped raining another look at the bar here back outside no more rain nice all right that was your birthday meal out at pisces rising here Whoa. my glasses are all foggy <laughs> here in downtown mount dora it was excellent mm -hmm. definitely worth the money because the food was great Stinking good. Stinking good. And we knew going into it, it was more of like a fancier restaurant. Um, kind of go for like special occasions. Yeah, stuff. yeah. But it's, what what's today? Uh, Wednesday. It wasn't really that crowded today. Mm -hmm. But on the weekends, I know it gets pretty busy. So pretty popular spot. But it was good. That was very nice of them to give you the dessert for your birthday. Yeah, that was really sweet. That was awesome. Um, but other than that, that was one good bingo. So thanks for picking that out. Yep. Good server, good restaurant. Yes. All good. Yes. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.